as the countdown to Mars continues. The perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the Red Planet. On February the 18th, 2021, the Martian rover Perseverance finally landed on the surface of Mars. Its mission was to go out there and find signs of ancient life. But of course, Mars has been one of those planets that in the past, us conspiracy theorists have been very interested in. And is this image proof that something, something maybe alien, is out there watching our probe? There are, of course, though, lots and lots of other theories about what's really going on on the Red Planet. So first of all, let's look at the cost of the mission. 2.9 billion all in. Now, some are saying that is just not enough money to send a rover to Mars. Others are saying it's far too much. So $2.9 billion, where does that really get you in the space race nowadays? Well, it is true that missions to Mars in the past have not been terribly successful. Most of them have, to be honest, failed. Some people have theorised that many of the missions failed because some alien species didn't really want us there. Or, another way of looking at it is, that getting a rover to Mars surface is actually really, really difficult. But it's also true that NASA has got pretty good at this. The last three missions sent to Mars have all been very successful. And it's also true that, you know, the technology is just advancing and becoming privatised. The cost of getting missions into space is coming down. In this case, the actual rocket, the actual launching of the mission, only cost 800 million. This is a significant saving on past missions. Even when you take inflation into account, the cost of perseverance is really kind of average, only coming in a little bit less than the um, Curiosity mission. So the cost really doesn't surprise me. But some people still believe that these images are actually not of Mars, that we've never been to Mars. And the Curiosity rover and now the Perseverance rover are really just driving around Idaho or some other desert region in America. And of course, NASA doesn't always help itself in this area with its insistence on using artists to touch up their images to make some of the lunar surface look more Martian by increasing the tinges of the red and increasing the tinge of pink to the sky instead of the reasonably blue sky that's actually natural. So... The old agency of never a straight answer, to be honest, really does shoot itself in the foot in this department. The one thing, however, that does surprise me about this rover is its pure size. Look at it in this video compared to the people in the background. This robot, when it's wandering around the Martian surface, doesn't really look that big, but it is actually huge. It doesn't surprise me at all how difficult getting a robot this size to the Martian surface actually is. And NASA, of course, can't help playing with the conspiracy theorists with their little secret messages and codes in parachutes. But people have been looking at the video as it comes back from Perseverance with skeptical eyes. For example, this video. Is this actually an ancient city, an ancient ruin? Did they land Perseverance in this crater for this very reason? And of course you can argue that the actual goal of this mission is to find life. So maybe NASA knows something we don't. Maybe they're not looking for microbial life. Maybe they are looking for evidence of ancient civilizations. In which case it would only make sense that they would land the Perseverance near where they suspect one to be. And here are some of the amazing images that we are getting back from Perseverance. It really is not difficult to see why some people believe this isn't actually Mars. This isn't actually a completely different planet. And it is only sort of the low desert in Nevada. Because it looks very familiar. If you were walking in this region and you came from Arizona, 
you would feel very at home. But of course, evidence of ancient civilizations on Mars isn't new. We've been looking at images that have made us wonder for a very, very long time. For example, the face on Mars. By many, this is definitive evidence. But is it just a hill? A hill that looks a bit like a face? Or is it a carving in stone for future generations to see? You take into account also the very suspicious hills in the region that look an awful lot like pyramids and you do have to wonder was there an ancient civilization on this planet some people see images like this the cannonball on mars and say this is proof some people see images like this and say look it's a jet engine a jet engine on mars people like scott c waring here see images on mars and they see patterns, they see shapes. But sometimes a rock is just a rock. This, for example, is not a monkey on Mars. Sometimes nature and rock formations can be very unusual and look very man-made, but they are very natural. Scott Waring goes on to say that this mission is actually just one big joke and he uses this image as proof. He says the technology aboard the Perseverance should be state of the art, should be the best humanity has to offer. So why can't they take a decent picture? Well, self-proclaimed experts like Scott C. Waring really need to remember that Mars is 293 million miles away. This image, or failed image, is simply because of a corrupt signal. So I think it is very, very possible that an ancient civilization could have existed on Mars. There may even be alien bases there today. But are they actually watching our probe? Is this image of something that does seem to be reflective just over the horizon proof that something or someone is watching Perseverance? And this is not the only image that's come back from Perseverance so far that suggests something may be going on more than we're being told. Close up of this image, it does look like something potentially just natural. It does look like a rock formation, but there is something metallic or something shiny there. So it's a definite maybe from me. But let's be honest, the one thing that we can all agree on is that NASA doesn't always tell us exactly the truth. It doesn't always give us a straight answer. And at the end of the day, the mission is to go and find life. So maybe, just maybe, that life is still there and it's watching us. So what do you think? Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Is there life on Mars? And did NASA really only spend $3 billion so that they could draw a massive penis on the Martian surface? If only... They had that much of a sense of humour.